Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Tracy's Art and Craft. Um, I have the new mic on today and it does seem to have some background interference. I'm hoping I can get rid of that. Um, if not, this is the best I can do for now, but I will improve it. I will get on there and see what I can do when um, editing the sound and things because, yeah, I just don't know how I'm going to get that off. Just another th new thing to learn, you know, so... <laughs> Please bear with me because I am learning as I go. So we're here for another Chat Chill and Collage Tuesdays, which I'm really excited about. So um, I've brought with me just some of my small papers, what I call small papers. So I've got my six by sixes here. I've got some other bits and pieces. Um, these sort of come in, um, these ones come in magazines, you know, card making magazines and stuff. And I love them. I love card making magazines. I love to read all different sorts of things in the magazine. Um, that is just a cover. I probably won't use that, but you can use that. Um, and the six by sixes, they're just things I've picked up along the way. And I haven't been using them. Um, so I thought, well, I'm just going to use them for some collage. And I've also pulled in all of my book page bits. And we did a couple of these before. But I just really need to get, because I've got a whole bunch of journals um made that i want to get into my store but i'm out of ephemera i have literally just my little black basket is like that full so yeah i really need to get some ephemera made um and the main thing i like to make is journal cards tags from these um so i'm going to get those done so what we're going to do today is I'm just going to pull in some papers, I'm going to rip them up, I'm going to have a bit of fun just putting them down, we'll trim around them a little bit, um, but I'll probably just decorate one with you guys at the end of the video, just to show you how I would decorate them, but um, my, main, my main aim today is just to get the paper onto this piece and then I can go through and decorate them later um, to fit whichever journal I wish to put them into. So um yeah i suppose i should be just start so today i am off out with my husband um i'm also getting oh i forgot to tell you guys on my last haul video yesterday i'm also getting a jelly plate i haven't done mono print in in ages but like i said i wanted to do um i should be i'm going to be collage while i'm talking to you i'm sorry i'm getting excited so um, I haven't done mono printing in absolutely ages and what I wanted to do is for my members um, do some digital prints um, and the members get them for free and then I could put some in my Etsy store as well for anyone that doesn't want to be a member um, but I wanted to do it so that you know my members also get um, I'm sorry if you can hear my husband. I might have to shut the door in a minute. My pets and my husband are being noisy upstairs. Um, yeah, I wanted to do it so that my um, members get to have some happy mail and they get to have some other bits as well as um, what I wanted to do was start blogging over in my membership area so people get to know me on a personal level. Um, as much as possible so I also wanted to give them you know the digi kits for free so that um, the members had that sort of added bonus of having the digi kits for free so yeah I'm not really paying attention to how I'm ripping this just so everybody knows um, I don't really pay attention to how I'm doing it I want this to have a ripped look not a straight look or anything um, and I just kind of, I go with my, um, my instincts, my feelings, you know, I, I'm very spontaneous when I craft and when I do my art, I just sort of place down whatever I feel like. Little bits of paper will stay here until I throw them away, because then I can decide if I want to use them or not. I did just get some new um, digital kits as well, which I will be showing you guys. Um, and the reason I'm not showing you right now is because the ones I've printed out, 
I've only printed out and started cutting. Um, I haven't actually printed out any. Oh, I like that. I haven't actually printed out any to um, to show you guys. So I haven't printed out the whole prints. I've only printed out some things that I wanted and some of the ephemera. Um, but they are really, really gorgeous. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of a few of them. So, oh, sorry, hit the wire for the mic. Um, so, yeah, these are just a few of the really beautiful digikits that i done. So, as you can see, I've printed them out multiple times here. And these are just so that I can cut them. But some of these kits are gorgeous. And I really wanted to do a purple journal. And I didn't have hardly any purple papers. And seeing the purple papers in there just reminded me. So, I'm going to do a little video of that at some point. But... First, I really want to get playing with my jelly plate when that comes. So I will be um, showing you guys that first of all, that video, because it's just going to be so much fun. I haven't done mono printing in ages and I absolutely love it. So I hope you're getting to join in with me today or you're just enjoying watching the video. Um, you know, not everybody likes to join in. I know sometimes I just watch craft videos just for the sake of watching them and catch up with some, some of my favourite um, creators on YouTube. But I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're getting some chance to do some sort of craft today. I'm getting absolute tons of glue on my desk today but... You know, what's new, really? What's new in my life? Oh, look at that. I do have some wipes somewhere, but every time I pull them out, one of the kids steal them. Yep, I can't find them anywhere. What do I have? I have nothing. I have my hands. There we go. Every time I get them out, my children steal them. to wipe up something they've made, you know, the <laughs> little messy buggers. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more of this just so I can get it on that corner there. Let's just use a glue book. Let's stop using the glue book to store paper and let's use it for its purpose. There we go. Look, that would help, wouldn't it? Using something that I'm meant to be using as a tool. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow around this with some scissors and I'll just show you that once you cut it, it transforms your collage. So yeah, I've got to go out and I've got to pick up, I've ordered in from Asda some school uniform for my children because they just won't stop growing. I keep telling them to quit growing, but do you think they'll listen? No, of course not. When does a child listen to its mother, hey? And there we go. So that's ready to have something put on. I'll pop the dumb ones up there. So I've got to go pick up their school uniform and get that all washed and done, ready. And then my husband said he'll pop, take me to the range because I want to have another look about. A look about usually does mean spending my husband's money, but um, yeah, he loves me, so he don't mind. <laughs> I'll have to, have to cook him a nice steak dinner, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. See how much he lets me spend. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I just wanted to go have a little look about, really. Uh, I don't spend every time I go in there. I like to just look at the craft stuff and decide what sort of things I might want to do in the future. I might pick up some more um, acrylic paints. Um, if I see any colours that kind of catch my eye that I want. Um, you know, all colours can be mixed anyway by just the basics. This has got too blue. See, this is, this is the part of this. Um, 
when they get too gluey you just end up making more of these you see so you're not you're never going to get through them all but it keeps you stocked up on ephemera on the basic ephemeras of tags and um of tags and pockets and you know you could use these as pretty much anything I've used them as pockets, I've used them as journaling cards, tags, belly bands, um, bookmarks, just pieces of decoration for inside the journal, you know, I even use them sometimes as um, bases for um, clusters, you know, there's so much you can use them for, so... I've ripped that funny. I don't want that piece of it that funny. Ha, huh, that will work. So yeah, um, I highly recommend, you know, people doing this. It saves your desk as well, getting all gunked up, because mine do. I'm so messy. I don't even think to use, you know, my gluing book and stuff like that. You could also use um, magazines to do this with. So you have got a little while to reposition if you get it wrong. Yes, yeah, so you could also use magazines if you wanted something bigger, a bigger glue book on your desk. Um, packing paper. I use packing paper. You'll see when I do my jelly prints that I use packing paper for... Um, I use it for protecting against paint and then I reuse that packing paper afterwards so you know you're sort of recycling in a way um, and nothing goes to waste except for these little tiny pieces which I have heard of some people keep these tiny pieces I don't bother because I just won't use them but I have heard some people still keep them and use them as well for certain things. So there we go, there's another one. So as you can see, I'm keeping them in theme, but not deliberately. It's just to use up these pieces of paper before I move on to other pieces. I think I'll do one of the belly band um, ones this time. This is the way I fold them for belly bands. I'll fold them in half the other way. Let's get some of this on. So what you can do is you can just glue stick on the whole thing as well if you want to do it faster, if you don't want to waste time. Glue stick the whole thing and just grab pieces of paper and just stick them on. So like this. Grab another piece. Just get rid of that edge. like that and these pieces that are stuck up you can then go in with a fine nozzle and just glue those pieces down at the end and it just speeds up your collaging so for instance oh I haven't got no glue on the bottom there sorry tell if I actually glued the whole thing wouldn't it there we go pop that down I want to cover some of this one Oh, this is nice. I like this one. This one's lovely. I hope you can see me. I hope I'm not like shooting off the. See, so you can do it this way and then afterwards you can just go through and just glue down all the bits um, that are sticking up. There's that one down. Just 
just like that. You know, so that's if you don't enjoy, you know, doing the sort of precision sort of cutting and things. Uh, I mean, precision gluing and stuff. Um, it depends on how you like to make your collages. So whichever way, I prefer the way you've always seen me do. That's just how I do them. But you know, you do you. So I hope you've all had a really good week and weekend so far. I know I have, I've had so much fun. Um, and I think my Alexa is about to go off, which I'm hoping it doesn't. Oh, I don't think it's plugged in. Thank God, I just heard my sons go off upstairs. And um, yeah, usually when his go off, mine go off at the same time. It's probably just telling me that my delivery is due soon. So I'm just going to glue this down a bit more. As you can see, I'm going quite fast, but um, I've got so many to do. So yeah, my next video is going to be me gel printing. Um, I hope you really enjoy that and it gives you some inspiration for you to do it. Um, I really recommend getting um, gel plates. Um, they're so much fun. I would start off, if you've never done it before, with the really little gel plates because they're inexpensive. But I have heard you can make your own. I've never made my own. I've just heard that you can make your own. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend looking into that. Um, because if you can, I mean, that might be just up someone's street and they might have the stuff that they need to make their own. I don't know. I d Honestly, I don't know. I've never done it. I can't recommend or deny it. I haven't done it. So yeah. I like to take the corners off and the reason for that is you don't have to of course because you're going to cut round. The reason for that is I do have a tendency to put those corners in the corner. Um, it's just that trick of the eye. You see a corner, it fits in the corner, you know, that kind of Tetris idea in the brain. Um, where you're making things fit um, and to stop you doing that sometimes it's a good idea just to take those corners off because that's just natural you know that's our brains just trying to do its thing um, even if you you know turn it into a corner like this is if it's rounded it you are still less likely to go and put that into a corner keep losing what I'm doing keep forgetting where I've got my glue and things and all kind of fingers and thumbs I think I'm going to make this one into a tag I'll look for another piece um, maybe something a bit plainer I am going to put this down the side so I'm not going to bother removing the corners. So you do want to make sure you're putting lots of glue on if you're not using um, wet white glue. And I just want something to get over this edge here. Getting too gluey again. There we go. Now I'm just going to glue this. 
just so I can stick it down. There we go. So let's just cut round this and then I think I'll decorate one up with you guys. What else do I have planned? I don't really have a lot else planned, I've got to be honest. Um, I've been tidying my craft area. I've just, um, I just did beads. They're still everywhere, those beads. Oh my God. I, I told myself, oh, what a good idea. I think I'll do the beads today. I really fancy doing the beads. Who says that? Who says that? I don't know. I'm gonna claim it as a moment of madness, but it was just that it was a moment of absolute sheer madness because it was hell on earth they got absolutely everywhere um, and all I wanted to do was sort out the small beads from the big ones because the big ones rise to the top and the small ones fall to the bottom and I have trouble getting the small ones so that's all I was doing I wasn't doing like different colors or anything like that because I definitely don't have the patience for that oh that did not turn out good did it Maybe I, what did I do there? Slight wrong angle there or something. We have ourselves a wonky tag. Let's just take that down a little bit. Oh, that's better. That's somewhat better. There we go, that'll do, that'll do. So I think I'll decorate a couple of these up with you. Um, I'm not used to the mic being on me and I keep wanting to knock it. So I'm having to be really careful whenever I move. Oh, actually, I've got some of these, haven't I? Um, these ones are from G from Happiness and Crafting. Um, I just bought her pink butterfly collection and it is so cute. It's so cute. Let's get me some ink. And a dobber if I can find one because my trolley is a mess at the moment from tidying. There we go. Right, you see my trolley's a mess because I'm tidying. That makes no sense, does it? Um, reorganising is what I'm doing and so of course everything's getting a bit of a mess. Like I've said on the back, you can add some coffee dye paper, you can add some white paper, there's nothing wrong with coffee paper at all. Um, or you could gesso the back, I do like to gesso the back, I like the feel of that under my pens and stuff, so I like to do that. So yeah, these are from G from Happiness and Crafting, this is her pink butterfly collection. Um, and I'm absolutely in love with this set. This is one of the new ones I bought myself for my birthday. And yeah, I do absolutely just adore this set. It's so cute. Corner rounder. Where are you? It's with my punches, but now my punches are getting too full because I need to make better space for them. So yeah, as I am going through and sorting out my stuff, I am actually making a lot more room, um, which is good because I was running out of room. Oh, the ink I'm using is um, Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide. Um, this is actually, here in the UK, this is like, I don't know, between five and seven pounds you can pick them up for. But you can pick these up cheaper and it is just the same as, so I'm just going through my ink pads here, just getting the right colour so that I can show you. Oh, seriously, it's the very last one of the pile. There we go. It's exactly the same as Angel Pink and Memento. And Memento, we get cheaper here in the UK. So if, but this is an ink, this isn't an oxide. So the difference is the oxide has pigment in with it and it 
reacts to water so if i was to spray water on this you'd get these beautiful droplet effects just like the case is showing you this however is an ink but the color is just exactly the same let me show you so if for instance i'm going on here so if you just want an ink can you see it's exactly the same color if you just want an ink and you're okay not having a pigment pigment shows up on dark papers as well as light um, definitely worth experimenting with if you have got a pigment one if it's just an ink one it doesn't so that's you know worth looking at if you did just want a nice cheap ink or anything so I think I'm just going to stick that on just there let's get a tacky glue let's hope it's not blocked because I haven't used it in a few days Oh no, that is definitely blocked. I won't use that then. We'll stick with the glitter glue. So our glitter glue is a bit stronger than tacky glue, quite a bit stronger. Sticks super fast. Um, is very clear when it dries as well. So if it does go over or anything, it's very, very clear. Um, very expensive here in the UK. I don't know what it's like elsewhere in for instance um america or anything like that i don't know i've just decided i think i want something behind this i tell you what i've got some hearts next to me i've got all different bits here these are my little cut out pieces that i've cut out just recently um from scrap paper what if I did that? Oh yes, 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 yes. Right, you stay there a minute. Do I want to ink round it? No, because I'm wasting time. Let's just stop waffling, Tracy. Stop gas bagging, waffling, and get on with what you're doing. Right. I've given myself a talking to now. That is pretty. And then stick this one on top like that. I love it. From now on, a little picture on here of something. Mm, what am I going to use? What picture do I want? Let's just put these away before I lose them all because they will scatter. I do have a tendency. What have I got here? What's this? Oh, that's cute. Oh, you can definitely go in there somewhere, can't you? Let's put you in the corner. See? This is the great thing about having a little bit of a messy graph for them. You get these beautiful surprises just pop up out of nowhere. Like, oh, look at that. Now it's on there. Now it's part of this piece. That probably wouldn't have got used because I wouldn't have thought to pick that out. So there we are. Now let's think of an image. What image could I use? Hmm. I don't know what I've got. What should I use? Shall I have a little look, see what we've got in here? Oh, straight open into something quite pink. That's pretty. Does that look nice there? No, that covers up too much, doesn't it? I kind of want something like this rose where I can just cut it out. Um, I'm ever so sorry, I'm faffing. I do have these moments. See, everybody has these moments, they are real. As you can see, I've topped up all my ephemera so they're bursting out now. What about a bunny? Should I put one of my bunnies on? I love the bunnies, I love the bunnies. I can't get enough of the bunnies. Yeah, let's do a bunny. You can't go wrong with a little cute bunny. And I love them so much. They make me so happy. Let's do them off to the side like that. Can I peel this up? Very really slightly. I can just pop him under. Oh, I'm at risk of ru ruining this tag now. It's just paper, guys. You need to remember that as well when you're crafting and you're at risk of ruining something. Remember, it's just paper. You know, 
it's, what are you ruining in in reality you're not ruining anything it's just paper we can make another one do something else it's okay hi guys i'm back sorry about that it cut out again you know what i'm like with this phone i always forget that it cuts out after 30 minutes i'm so sorry and um with editing and things you know your videos that always come to 30 minutes but with what i'm actually recording goes over and sometimes i completely forget that i need to cut that so i'm ever so sorry about that um this is how it turns out i glued the bunny down then i glued the heart back down so that's how that turned out what i'll do is i'll probably put a little hole here Add some pretty ribbon and I would definitely gesso the back I love how it feels when it's gessoed so that's that piece and um, so these are all the pieces we have made um, as for these hearts and things that I've cut out I was thinking about putting these into my Etsy store and making little packs oh sorry I've got all different sizes here look you've got a really tiny one as well and I was thinking about making packs of them um, because I do have so many pretty papers and things. Not everybody can have these dies because they don't have the room in their house. But they would like to, you know, have some pretty hearts and things like that that are cut out by dies that they can decorate. So do let me know what you think, what you guys think. Whether that's a good idea to sell. Um, I'm thinking about selling them around £2 because then that covers my Etsy charges with just a little bit on top for the paper, literally just pennies on top, because um, Etsy's do charge quite a bit. So, um, yeah, what's, wh what sort of size pack do you think is reasonable for that? I really, I really don't mind, I just haven't got a clue what sort of size pack I should do. Um, these are beautiful layered up look as well, so you could literally just layer these up, and that would be a piece. You could use that as a pocket as well if you just stuck down the two corners you could use that as a little tuck space you know they're really really pretty so um yeah if you think that's a good idea the postage will be free in the uk outside the uk um you have to contact me for that because the postage changes all the time so i can't put a set price for postage outside the uk but i can post outside the uk especially small items journals you may get charged when it enters your country I believe the charge is small, but you do have to keep that in mind that there may be another charge on top when it gets into your country. I don't know why that is, um, but you do. It's not just taxes. Um, especially in the European Union, we've been having troubles with that because of Brexit and everything. So, um, if you think it's a good idea to be selling these, let me know what sort of size pack you'd like. Um, what you think is reasonable for about £2. Because, you know, I want this for you know to cater to you guys I don't want to um you know for it to come and it's not enough or you feel like you know it's too expensive anything like that because that's not the point I'm doing here is to make things accessible to those who don't have as much as others so yeah let me know what you think about that um Next time I'll be doing my gel print, and I keep saying I'm so excited. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Um, and then down in the description box, we have my lovely digital artists that I use. Um, I use them just because I can guarantee I get a good print every single time. I only print on I print on good paper, but I only print on um, regular print setting. Um, you can do high quality as well and I'm only using an inkjet if you use the laser jet you'd get even better quality from your print so I only use artists that I can guarantee I'm going to get good print every single time and they're just easy to print off you can just print 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 you don't have to be fiddling around with them so they are all down in the description box my Etsy is down there um, do give that a visit I have at the moment 30% off I've checked the code checked it twice it definitely works so do pop down there, I've left the code in there for you if you want to do that. If you'd like to become one of my members or if you'd like to just treat me to a coffee, um, please do. The smaller member setting, I have set that up because if you did want to buy me just a coffee, it's like £5 and I didn't want it that expensive. So I've made the smaller membership cheaper than that. And then you've got the larger membership where you'll get a happy mail on the first of every month. That will be sent out when that arrives to you i'm not sure but i'll definitely send it on the first of every month and you will also receive um on the first of every month starting from february you will receive um a free email going out 
for a digi kit. If you happen to join a few days after the first, I will still give you that month's digital kit. So as I see you've joined, I will still give you that. I will honour that, don't worry. So yeah, um, I think that is everything. I think I've covered everything. I will see you tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you're all in good health. Bye for now. Bye.